work this time. Time for Plan Alpha. Yumi, Yumi, it's me. Okay, I just launched Plan Alpha. My five dry runs have all worked. Okay, tomorrow I'll talk to my parents. That's great. I'll tell Odd and Ulrich. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Jeremy. Can you hear me, Jeremy? Jeremy, wake up. Mom and Dad, can I talk to you for a second? It's about my pen pal. Uh, um, you haven't changed your mind about her living here for a while. No, but tell us a little bit about her, Yumi, where we don't even know her name. Ailita. Ailita what? It's Ailita, uh, um, Lyoko. Is she Japanese? Well, uh, yes, she is. What do her parents do, dear? Uh, they, uh, they work with computers. Hmm. Well... All right, then. She's welcome to stay with us. That's fantastic. I adore you. Oh, you won't regret it. She's really so nice. Bye now. See you tonight. <laughs> Very well, then. Uh, what is your cousin's name, Odd? Ailita. Hmm, Ailita. And uh, where does she come from? She's from uh, Holland. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, her papers are in order, and your parents have recommended her highly, so I see no reason why she can't attend school here. Let me know when she arrives. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> okay, what are you two up to, huh? <laughs> you know this building is off limits to students, especially at 8 in the morning. We had an appointment with the principal, Jim, about Odd's cousin attending school. Oh, what a lame excuse. <laughs> what do you think I am, huh, an idiot? Well... Quiet! Yeah, and I'll bet you think I'm not onto your pranks with Jeremy and Yumi. You disappear in the park like some sort of magic. You plod in your rooms. Hey, it's not a crime. Maybe not. Now you listen up. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what the four of you are hiding. And now, to the cafeteria! Hurry up! You know what I think? <laughs> We'd better be careful about Jim. If he keeps playing detective, he's gonna find our secret passage. Hey! Hey, guys! Great news! My parents said okay. So did the principal. Odd, uh, that was a pretty good letter you faked from your parents. I can't say I'm proud of what I did, but it was for a good cause. Oh, Jeremy, what's up? Uh -huh. Okay, be right there. Wow! You're not the only one. <laughs> hey, Sissy, have you seen Ulrich and his gang this morning? Well, yeah. Where? In the cafeteria? No, I saw them going to their rooms, Jim. Yeah? Thanks for the tip. It is pretty strange to go to the rooms at this hour. I said to myself, now why would they be in their rooms now with someone who isn't even a boarder? You mean Yumi Ishiyama is with them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> You're meaner than I thought. 
Okay. Tell me what the good news is. Eileta, I don't know how to tell you this, but believe it or not, we're waiting for you here. Really? 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 The materialization's gonna work? Yep. It's all in here. And I can tell you it was really complicated. Defragmenting the inertial matrix wasn't enough, and so I had to start to recompile all of the DNA Time correlations out, and... <sighs> to make a long story short, it works. Oh, Jeremy, that's so great. I can't believe it's true. Better get used to it fast, because it's time to take the big jump. And then it's bye-bye, Xana. Hold on. Uh -huh. It's not that simple. First, I've got to set up the program in the super calculator. Then Alita will have to get to the passage tower in Lyoko's forest region. That's where she's going to get devirtualized. Before she appears in the flesh for the first time inside one of the scanners. In that case, I'm off to the forest right now. Okay. And we'll go to class in the meantime. And afterwards, the factory. I'll see you later, my friends. We'll be five for dinner tonight. <laughs> to no good again, aren't you? No, we were just studying together. Oh, gee, my foot. I've had enough of your lies, you hear? We're gonna stay right here until you guys tell me the truth. Jim? Hmm? What is going on here? Well, I'm glad you're here, sir. I don't know what's going on, but these little devils are up to no good, and I intend to find out what it is. Yes, Jim, another one of your absurd stories about secret plots and passages. What do you mean, absurd? You heard what I said, absurd, Jim. But... Now listen. Your paranoid behavior and your one-track mind concerning these children are getting on my nerves. You're a physical education teacher, yeah. not a detective, Jim. Um... What are you waiting for? You have class now, so get going! <laughs> Animals live in all land, air, and sea regions thanks to their varied respiratory organs. Who it won't be long now. Example? And so in Italian, the noun città, which of course means city, is invariable. Who can give me another example? <laughs> Jeremy, I'm gonna need help. When animals and humans breathe, they take in oxygen and emit carbon dioxide. Living beings with aquatic respiration... What are you doing? Use the oxygen it's Aelita. She's in danger. Obviously, this phenomenon depends on certain factors. Who can tell us which ones? Jeremy? Go ahead. We're listening. Uh, the, the, the frog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's about time that Jeremy gets the wrong answer. <laughs> 